hello how you doing i hope you're having a marvelous day today um this is prophet or prophetess sarah latavia sanders coming at you i want to share with you all a proverb uh this is proverbs chapter 12 verse 14 and it says a wife of noble character is her husband's crown and when a person wears a crown they wear it proudly you know a crown is something of honor and of joy and something that is celebrated um, as well and here when someone is noble and in this case it says a wife of noble character um, it means she humbles herself before her husband she humbles herself before her husband she is obedient to god um, she's a wife that obeys God. She's a wife that obeys God. She's a wife that obeys God. And a wife that obeys God will have no problem submitting to her own husband. Her own husband. And when God created holy matrimony he created for the two that got married to be together forever he never wanted people to step out of their out of the boundaries of their marriage and go and explore in someone else's territory but going back to the proverb uh, it says Proverbs 12 so that's chapter 12 verse 14 and it says, a wife of noble character is her husband's crown. And when you when when we talk about noble, noble is someone who some someone noble submits themselves. They have good character. They they have integrity. They're trustworthy. So in this instance, a wife of noble character humbles herself before her husband. Okay? She's obedient to God. And again, a wife that obeys God will have no problem submitting to her own husband. A wife, she's she helps her husband by helping to build his ministry she helps build god's ministry and then i wrote here a wife's first focus is jesus christ a wife's first focus is jesus christ and when you make Jesus Christ your focus, you make God your focus. When she makes Jesus Christ her focus, she makes God her focus. And when she submits and helps her husband out in ministry, in ministry, when her husband prospers, she prospers. And God honors their endeavors. God honors their endeavors. God wants us to continue to make God decisions. And when we make God decisions, we go and we supplicate and we intercede for one another. But we also ask God for direction. What, sh what type of business should I go into? What type of job should I take? What should I make today? What product should I make today? Or what type of food or meal should I make today? We should always acknowledge God in all of our ways. And that's what he wants us to do. To acknowledge him. To ask him. He wants us to come to him for new ideas as well. And he'll gladly give it to us. And then there are moments where we have to work for it. And when we work for it. Yeah, I got a bit of that oil on my skin. Again, you know what I'm saying? And holy oil. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That holy oil <laughs> seeping through my pores. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. But yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Continue to rely on God. All right. Continue to rely on God. That's what he wants us to do. That's dad. That's dad. And he wants us to come to him for support. Support. He wants us to come to him for new ideas. He wants to be the one that gives you the 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 instructions, the guidance that you need. He doesn't want you to get it from someone who doesn't know God and who will make you stray off the, uh, his path, a path of righteousness. And again, as I stated before in another video, righteousness is obedience to God. Righteousness is obedience to God. To God. Okay? To God. Yes. But again, for those... Um, for a moment, I thought I was on Periscope. For those that are joining in right now... No, but yes, I, I just want to reiterate. I was going over Proverbs 12, verse 14... And again, it simply says, a wife of noble character is her husband's crown. So wives, submit yourselves to your own husband, okay? Follow the leadership and guidance of your husband. But put God first. And when you can put God first and heed the word of the Lord, heed the word of Jesus Christ, then guess what? You, <laughs> Your marriage will be blissful. Again, it will be blissful loving and prosperous and amazing okay but all right I'm gonna go and I pray you all have a wonderful day and in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we declare and decree that the blood of Jesus places a double triple hedge of protection around you all and for no and no weapon no weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. And we dispatch our heavenly holy angels to go minister to our people. That they may grow. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord God. And I love you all. And again, love on somebody today. Encourage someone today. And I'm prophet or prophetess, Sarah Latavia Sanders. And have a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Or night, depending on when you're watching. But God bless.